County, there's Desark, and now Georgetown, you've got the White River. Uh, the cell's moving to the northeast right around 40 miles per hour. And if it continues on the path, if you go a little farther north, uh, places like Augusta will be affected by this particular uh, storm here down the line. Uh, here, probably see, 630, probably about 645 or so as this races to the northeast. And there's a pretty good, pretty good chance it's going to be wrapped in rain. There's a lot of moisture out there. Very heavy rain is falling. Flash flood watching effect and some flood warnings just to the north here. But that's the area that we're talking about where we have a little bit of circulation right now just to the south and west of Georgetown moving to the northeast at 40. Nathan and back over to Max one and we'll sh we're looking at the rain part of the radar on Max one that tornado warning still in effect until 630 for folks in White County right on the border of White County and also moving into uh, looks like Woodruff County. Woodruff so County. A Woodruff County, a small sliver of Woodruff County is also under a tornado warning. But right now, I would say Georgetown has the likelihood of seeing uh, some rotation making its way right over your neck of the woods, whether or not that rotation touches the ground. This is a Doppler radar indicated tornado, so we don't know if anything is happening at the ground. But still, uh, this cell is spinning like a top and it still does show signs that we are looking at rotation within this cell. Here's the latest when we look at the winds within this cell and you can clearly see the rotation at this time yeah. as we're going to highlight. You saw Tom right showing right there and yeah. I'm going to put on an icon here to give a little better perspective, but it's that area just to the west and southwest of Georgetown, but this is moving off to the north northeast. So it's going to be very close to Georgetown probably in the next couple minutes, and then it's going to continue to make its way right along the border of White County and Woodruff County. After that, it will Woodruff continue County. to make its way towards uh, pretty close to Augusta. So Augusta, you're not technically under the tornado warning at this time, but if they decide to continue that tornado warning and extend it, Augusta certainly will be included within that tornado yeah. warning box and maybe even up to Fitzhugh. This is yeah. uh, a set, definitely a quick little rotation that spun up, Tom. We're going to go back here a little bit yeah, in right time. Here. Then we're going to show you a wider perspective, but let me go back here and see how this all evolved very quickly because right. it wasn't a severe thunderstorm warning. It just went right to a tornado warning. It just went warning. right to a tornado warning and, and just some good news for Prairie County. You're out of the warning. Yeah, like we said, this storm is now in uh, parts of uh, White County getting ready to move over to uh, Woodruff County. White and Woodruff County till 630 tonight. Uh, Nathan's backing it up and look how quickly it spun up there just south of Highway 11 and now it's moved into uh, uh, southern parts of uh, White County. You've got Georgetown over here in Woodruff County. There's the, um, uh, I'm sorry, the White River and on up the road. You've got, uh, you've got, uh, let's see the uh, whole oh goodness. It just escaped me just up the road from from Georgetown. We just talked about it a moment ago, but there's the circulation around Jones Island Road. Uh, let's see, you've got Cypert Road, Heath Scott Road. If you live in those areas or in that community, that's uh, where this current uh, the concern is. You can see an inflow here. Uh, it looks more like a hook echo that we would see on radar, although you're probably going to have a lot of rain with this and you're not going to see it come at you. Augusta is what I was trying to think of just a moment ago. Augusta uh, just to the north there. So uh, if you live upstream there, Newport, Augusta, this storm that holds together will be affecting you. We've got uh, more very heavy rain and thunderstorms occurring in this area, hopefully helping to tamper down the atmosphere, uh, stabilize the atmosphere a little bit more because we do have another round of storms coming our way later on this evening. But right now it's that one tornado worn storm and you can see Prairie County has been taken out. It's now white in that little bit of a sliver of Woodruff County along the White River. That rotation is still hanging on, Tom, as we take a look at the Storm Track 11, still seeing the blue show up. Uh, there's that Ooh. blue bullseye. Now it's to the north of Georgetown. So this is a fast moving cell going to the northeast about 40 miles per hour. So it has likely just passed uh, very close to Georgetown. Hopefully it didn't do any damage. We do not know at this time because it is once again a Doppler radar indicated tornado. But nonetheless, if you are within this tornado warning polygon back over to Max one now, and if any of these communities are in the tornado warning, you need to go ahead and take your tornado precautions. Maybe not so much prior because that sells just off to the east of you, but certainly right along the border of White County and Woodruff County along 262 and also Highway 33. Uh, be on your guard. Augusta, because this cell, if it holds together, it is going to be headed in your direction. So I'm going to give you plenty of extra time to get to your safe place if needed. Um, don't wait for the tornado warning if it's just down to the south of you, because this cell is still 
maintaining its strength as it makes its way off to the north east about 40 miles per hour. So it doesn't give you much time to prepare and it's going to be rain wrapped. You see the heavy rain is primarily uh, just to the north of where the circulation is. So you get a uh, round of very heavy rainfall. Then if there's something with a tornado on the ground that comes after the heavy rain. So a little bit different from sometimes when you see the tornado first, then the heavy rain. And this time the situation is opposite, but that's the only tornado warning we're watching at this time, Tom, in the state of Arkansas. Yeah. But like you said, this is just still continuing round one because there's more storms to the west in Oklahoma and also into Louisiana. We still have a lot of wind energy. It's still warm and humid, so right. every storm that develops, we have to watch closely. Yeah, there's that heavy rain that he's talking about. The center of circulation is going to be somewhere northeast of Georgetown now. Just to give you an idea, this is the White River. Uh, you've got Woodruff County here. This is uh, very eastern parts of a White County, so this is going to move over into Woodruff County, possibly crossing over the river. There's Nemo, Arkansas. Here's Georgetown, and there's the area of concern, the circulation. Uh, moving um, close to Highway 262 and Highway 11. I'd say that uh, in right Arkansas, if you live in in right, you're on the western side of it. You should be OK, uh, but take cover Nemo. And if you live up toward Augusta, Arkansas, that's who's going to be affected by this cell. It's 612. The warning is in effect until 630. The Weather Service will continue this warning until 630. I do want to ask a real quick question, Nathan. Union County in, in South Arkansas was under a warning. Has that warning been allowed to expire or is it still with Union County? Because the reason I'm asking is you've got some counties just to the to the north and east of that that are not under a watch, but Bradley County, you folks in Drew County, y'all keep a close eye on things too because that storm moving out of Union County may affect you and that's in southern Arkansas. Uh, this is on the eastern fringe of our viewing area for those of you in White and Woodruff County. If you live along the White River in this area, this is the tornado worn storm south of Nimmo just to the north and northwest of of Georgetown movement is to the northeast at 45 miles per hour and uh, let's hope it's not producing a tornado but there's strong enough signature strong enough rotation with this storm that um, that prompted the weather service to produce that tornado warning make sure you have your safe place ready in fact it was probably a good idea today to go ahead and get make sure it's ready to go uh, centermost point of your home lowest level your basement uh, don't put uh, put yourself between as many walls as you can Outside walls are not good, especially if you've got windows. So just uh, take your precautionary measures now, especially if you live upstream from the Georgetown area. There's that warning. Yeah, Tom, so we're going over a very rural area once it gets past Georgetown. I'm looking at the debris detector tool and I'm not seeing anything that's really showing up. I'm going to switch over here so you can take a look at that as well. But let's line up with the winds first on exactly where that rotation is. So there's a rotation uh, very close to Highway 36, just to the northwest of Georgetown. Now, as we take a look at the debris detector to see if there's any lowering of the CC or where the radar is trying to find where there's different shapes being thrown into the atmosphere, which would tell us there's definitely a tornado on the ground. I'm not seeing that at this time. Nonetheless, this is still a Doppler radar indicated tornado warning, and you still need to take it seriously, even though nothing has been confirmed at the moment. It's making its way right along the border of White County and also Woodward County. And once again, if you're just joining us at this time, Augusta, you're not under the tornado warning right now, but that may change if this cell continues to hold its rotation as it's drifting its way off to the northeast about 40 miles per hour. The rest of the state, there mm -hmm. are no severe thunderstorm warnings or tornado warnings. It's just really that one part with the exception down into Union County. Right. That was what I was talking about. Here's the, that part of Union County that has the tornado warning, but it looks as if uh, Ashley County has a severe thunderstorm warning cross at Hamburg area, and then you've got Chico County where Eudora Lake Village are. So we're keeping a close eye on this area out of northern Louisiana as well. This could very well affect uh, Bradley County, Drew County, DeShea County as we head over the next couple of hours. But yeah, Nathan, mentioned there's no tornado warning for these areas just a little bit of Union County and that storm is still in northern parts of Louisiana and you notice Tom they're going with the uh, <laughs> severe thunderstorm warning tornado possible tag okay. that's why it's a, a very dark we got up here orange color when you look at the the key up there versus a regular severe thunderstorm warning so if you're watching us in Ashley County but certainly in Drew County don't let your guard down like Tom said th technically there's no tornado watch 
in effect for you at this no, time? Not here, no, not yet. Uh, let's take a look at the watches just to be sure that they didn't extend it. No, nope. there's no tornado watch. Uh, so don't let your guard down because you do have a nasty cell that will be moving into southeast Arkansas from Louisiana. Just because you're not on tornado watch does not mean you cannot see a tornado. I would expect that watch to be extended into east Arkansas as the night progresses along. But there you see all the tornado watches extending all the way back through Oklahoma. And that's because we've got more cells, super cell thunderstorms developing into eastern Oklahoma, but also down into Louisiana. More storms are developing into southwest Arkansas. Any of these storms could tap into a very unstable atmosphere we have in place that will produce some very heavy rainfall. So we got that flash flood watch in effect for a large part of the state because some locations could see several inches of rain that could lead to some flash flooding issues. More importantly, we're concerned about the potential severe weather, damaging wind gusts, maybe some large hail, but by far also the potential of maybe some tornadoes and some of these tornadoes could be on the strong side. Yeah, that's why we're keeping it here because uh, although we haven't heard confirmation, the atmosphere today is conducive for that, uh, for these severe thunderstorms or these supercells to drop a tornado and keep it on the ground for a while. Uh, we were going to run up against the story and talk about Jesseville. Uh, there was a tornado warned storm in Jesseville today that quickly spun up and did produce a possible tornado. Uh, I'm just going to say it produced a tornado. There's damage there and it's, uh, it really looks like it was a tornado. It doesn't look like it was just wind damage. So uh, Jesseville, and we'll get back to our news here at 630 when this expires. We'll talk more about what happened in Jesseville. But if you live over in eastern Arkansas, White County to Woodruff County, there is a tornado warning for you. And uh, this includes Georgetown, but it looks like the cell may be out of Georgetown. Moving along the Woodruff County and White County border or line here with the White River to the northeast at about 45 miles per hour. National Weather Service is going to continue the warning until 630 this evening. Uh, well, due to the fact that these storms are quickly firing up and they're maintaining the rotation of whether or not we have uh, not really a confirmed touchdown here, but one could fall out of the sky and and uh, well, you know what happens then. So that's why we're keeping it here. There's Highway 33. Here's Highway 262. It's in this general area uh, moving over the White River here, White County, Woodruff County, just a very small sliver of Woodruff County. If you live upstream, if you live toward Augusta, Arkansas, uh, you're next in line. So we're keeping an eye on this National Weather Service. Uh, taking a closer look at this uh, if they if they cancel it that would be great uh, let's see they, they say the cell has weakened and has broadened out but they're gonna and, and they're planning on canceling the warning which would be some good news so they've just now canceled it for white and woodruff county so that that's certainly some good news there nathan no. Yep, Tom, so we're going to okay. be on lookout for the potential of severe weather for the overnight hours. We got the tornado watch in effect until nine o'clock, but I think that will likely be extended maybe right. even into the early morning hours because the potential of severe weather will remain okay. in place. So here's what we'll do. We'll take a quick break, come back and we'll have more news with uh, Roley and Faith. So let's do that.